I was on a mountain climb with a quadriplegic on a ventilator and we had a pulse oximeter with us to measure the oxygen on my patient as we went up the mountain and we had mountain rescue people with us taking the patient up the mountain quadriplegic wheelchair bound and we took him up the mountain and I noticed I wasn't feeling good I put that pulse oximeter on me and it was like 72 low and I didn't think too much about it because I didn't want to think too much about it but I started thinking and then when I got back I told my doctor hey it's 72 my doctor says don't worry that's okay for your age okay and I've been like taking some martial arts I don't want to say which one because that's ego and they were teaching me to breathe in there, a certain type of breathing. I don't want to say what type it is either because that's cult churl. And I started learning to go. My teacher was really just a student, would have me stand in the mirror. And look at myself while I did breathing. And I sort of got it, but not completely. About a year later, it was time to get the fuck out of the house. You know, I raised my daughter and I didn't want to be a slave anymore. So I got out, started getting out. And. And it was sort of traumatic, but that's what you got to do. You got to do the process. You want to be free, you got to break out. I knew a little bit about the breathing. I was using it sometimes. But then my brand new motorhome burned down, you know? The motorhome. It was like, it was only like two years old. I destroyed it with a cooking fire. And then insurance company didn't want to pay me because they didn't want to, you know, spend that kind of money to settle a claim. And they were trying to blame it on me. And the phone calls were very stressful until I figured it out. I said, I got to breathe. So I hook up the pulse oximeter and go, 